Welcome back to another episode of Option Greeks. Let's simplify option trading by understanding these Greeks. Thanks Joe Set again for upvoting on a deep dive on Theta. In this video, I'm going to use my design skills to do a deep dive on Theta. Going more into detail of what it is, how it works, why does it matter, and how you can use this new information to better buy calls and puts. We're going to go over a few things on Theta and I will elaborate more, especially on Theta versus Delta, time decay and such, which should give you better insights into why beginning Inner traders, especially buyers, tend to lose money. Now grab your favorite drink and be ready to learn about Theta. Let's begin. Good morning everyone, my name is Justine, I'm a designer working in Silicon Valley. And today I'm here to use design to help explain Theta, one of the five common option Greeks in option trading. And you know my style, you don't need to smash the like button just yet, do that in the end if you find this video useful or insightful, hold me accountable. Now without further ado, let's dive right into Theta. As we mentioned in the previous video, Theta is the time decay of the option prices. Basically it describes how much money an option contract would drop with decay every day. If the stock stays flat, this is called Theta Decay. It doesn't matter if an option contract is a call or a put, Theta affects either of them in the same way. Let me quickly go over two examples on Robinhood. So this Tesla 1090 out of the money call, for example, has a Theta of negative 2.5055, which means you can expect this particular option with this 1090 strike price would drop $251 every day. The current option price is $28.58. On the next day, Theta will make this call option contract drop from 28.58 to 26.07. Minus 251, the Theta amount. While all other things remain the same, such as stock price, Greeks, etc. It will be the same thing for puts. This 1020 out of the money Tesla put with a Theta of negative 2.3769. On the next day, this put price is going to go from 2200 to 1962, dropping by the Theta amount, while all other aspects of this option remain the same. Next. Why does Theta exist? Theta is a thing as part of the option Greek family. It's because of something called the extrinsic value. It's also called the time value. And Theta is responsible for burning through all the extrinsic value from the day that this option contract is listed to its expiration day. I'm gonna make a new video on intrinsic and extrinsic value very soon. If you wanna stay posted, make sure to hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Just to briefly cover the necessity here, all option contracts will have a non-zero extrinsic value before expiration. Today is not yet January 7th. We are not at the expiration day yet. That's why all these call option contracts have some non-zero extrinsic value. The same with these puts, whether they are out of the money or in the money, they all have some extrinsic value. All in the money option contracts have both non-zero intrinsic value and non-zero extrinsic value. All the out of the money option contracts have a zero intrinsic value, so you can think of it, it doesn't exist, which you can think of it as out of the money options only have extrinsic value. There's one easy way to tell if an option contract has intrinsic value or not. If it makes sense to exercise, that means this option contract is in the money. It has both intrinsic and extrinsic value. For example, the Tesla call, the current price is 1076. It does not make sense to exercise an 1100 strike price Tesla call because that just means you can buy 100 shares at $1,100 per share. But the current price is lower than that, so if you can buy it at $1,076, why would you buy at $1,100? That doesn't make sense. But it will make sense to exercise a $1,050 Tesla car because you can buy the shares at a cheaper price at $1,050 instead of $1,076. So all these option contracts are in the money, they have intrinsic and extrinsic value. When there's only one day left before the option contract expires, the theta should equal the entire option price, which is all the extrinsic value, all the time value for out of the money option contracts, which makes total sense because that's the definition of theta. The next day, if the stock doesn't move at all, theta should burn all the extrinsic value, burn it all the way to zero. Today is January 6th, there's only one day left. In this 1095 out of the money Tesla call example, theta is way above the option price because of some tracking error and also the stock price fluctuation after the market closes. But still, it tells you the next day, if the stock stays flat, Theta will wipe out all the option value because this is out of money, which is purely all the extrinsic value, all $500 of it. Next, Theta and Delta. 
This is probably the most important part of this video, so make sure you get this right. If you understand delta already, now it would be the great time to put theta and delta together so that I can explain why new option traders, especially option buyers, will lose money. If you don't know what delta is yet, check out the card in the corner and description down below. As we know, for every single dollar the stock goes up, the option price will go up by the delta amount. We also know the option contract price is supposed to drop by the theta amount if the stock stays flat. When we juxtapose these two, we can see a pattern actually. If I buy a call, say this 1090 out of money call, if Tesla stock goes up $5, this call will go up by $210. But looking at the theta, every day this 1090 call will drop 250, the theta amount. That means I will still lose money despite the stock is going up. If the stock goes up by $6, the call will go up by $262. I am barely profiting. The implication here is that the underlying stock goes up does not guarantee me to make money if I buy this call. The stock has to go up enough to outpace theta in order for me to make money. This is a very, very crucial point that beginner option traders are not aware of, which leads them to lose money. On the flip side, this is actually how option sellers make money. They make money by selling buyers this 1090 Tesla call and taking advantage of the theta decay. So if Tesla doesn't go up enough or fast enough or stay flat, the sellers win. Next is the range and value. There's not really a range for theta because it can be high or low, but we know it's always negative and it will stop at zero, which you will mostly see on the expiration date because that's when all the extrinsic value will be gone. If it's gone, there's nothing for the theta to decay and hence theta will be zero. You can see on this screenshot, the last day on expiration day, theta of all Tesla calls and puts are either zero or they're heading to zero. Unlike Delta, which has a fixed range from negative one to one, there's no fixed range for theta. Theta can be high because the underlying stock price is high. For example, Amazon has an over 3K share price. Its theta can be as high as negative 12.69, which means every day this Tesla call option is gonna drop almost $1,300. Or it could be as low as negative 0.0366 for AT&T, which is only under $25 per share. Now we can try to dig deeper into what will actually impact, will have an influence on what the theta value is. There are two main factors, the first one being time. You might have heard of time decay, theta decay, they mean the same thing. And it describes how time will cause option price to drop, to decay. Similar to gamma, theta's value increases when there's less time left upon expiration. Meaning if we take two option contracts with the same strike price, let's say 1100 Tesla call, the theta for the call with only one day until expiration will be higher than the one with eight days until expiration. Simply because there's less time left, so the theta is higher. So you can think of that as, yo dude, what's up? You only have one day left. Dial it up, burn all the extrinsic value. All right, all right, you got it, bro. I will dial it up right now. On another important note, theta decay is not linear, it's exponential. When an option contract is getting closer to the expiration date, theta doesn't just become bigger, it becomes a lot bigger. The implication here is that if you buy short-term calls or puts, be aware that high theta will kick into high gear and eat up your option price really quickly. One side note, how do you count how many days left until expiration? The pricing model actually takes into account weekends. On Robinhood, it will not tell you that. In the Thingoswim platform, it will tell you. I can use the on-demand feature to go back to December 31st, 2021, which was a Friday, the last trading day in 2021. We can see that for option contracts expiring on January 7th, 2022, it says seven here, meaning theta decay will happen in the next seven days, including the weekends. The implication here is that if on December 31st, I were to buy an option contract that expires one week away on January 1st, 2022, I will need to understand over the weekends, January 1st and 2nd, theta will eat up my option value, my option price. So we need to be very certain in the next week, the stock will go up enough to cover that theta decay losses I had over the weekend. The second factor, volatility. 
In general, the higher the implied volatility levels, the higher the theta amount. This is actually very straightforward and it makes total sense because if there's a lot of volatility, that means there's a lot of uncertainty, more risks, there will be more extrinsic value priced into the option contracts. Because there is more extrinsic value, there needs to be a higher theta to chip that away. This explains why very in the money and very out of the money option contracts have super low theta. Because the uncertainty is low, meaning less volatility, less intrinsic value, and hence low theta. I can give you two examples with high volatility, which implies a high theta. The first one being at the money option contract. They have the most volatilities and uncertainties. They might go in the money in the next second, but it could also swing back out of the money one minute later. Who knows? They can swing either way. So there will be a lot of extrinsic value there and hence a really high theta. The next scenario will be earnings week. When a company is going to release their earnings report about their past quarter performance, there will be a lot of volatility because there are a lot of uncertainties. You don't know if the company is going to do well or not. And because of that, there will be more extrinsic value, higher option prices, and higher theta across all strike prices. The last part, in the money, add the money, out of the money. Theta affects different option contracts differently. Some will have a small impact and some will have a bigger impact. We can look at this deep in the money Tesla call. 1140 stock price, 1040 strike price Tesla call, expiring in three days. It has a theta of negative 1.86, meaning I can expect this option contract to lose $186 every day. Dang, son, I'm gonna almost lose $200 per day? Rough, but put theta in perspective. This call option contract is 11.1K. So if you do the math, this call will lose about 1.7% of its value every day until expiration if the stock stays flat. How about this one? A perfectly at the money option contract. It will lose about $521 every day. Again, at the money options will have a really high theta. This is an example. So this call option contract will lose about 16.3% of its value every day until expiration if the stock price stays flat. We can look at the last one. When it's out of the money, 1340 strike price Tesla call expiring in three days has a theta of negative 0.92. Not too much of a value drop if you just look at the number, but the call price is only $72. So this call will lose 100% of its value tomorrow if the stock price stays flat. Theta is higher than the option price here due to some tracking error and some miscalculation in the stock movement after hours. The point is, looking at those numbers, and you can understand how theta will affect the option price depending on where the stock price will fall among all those strike prices, where it is. So you can see the pattern. If you are an option buyer, you will tend to lose money if you buy out of the money options because theta is against you. But it will be great for the seller. All right, to tie everything together, a high theta will just mean an option contract will lose more of its value every day. If you are buying options, you can totally check out the theta to see if you are comfortable losing this amount of money every day. Theta decay exists because there is an extrinsic value to all option contracts before expiration. Theta decay only affects extrinsic value. It will not have any impact on the intrinsic value. Again, I will make a deep dive video on intrinsic and extrinsic value very soon. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to stay tuned. Theta will be different for different strike prices and the impact of theta will be also different different strike price as well. When you buy an option contract, it's really the race, the battle between theta and delta or time versus stock growth speed. It's totally a threat, it's a problem, it's an issue for all the option buyers out there, but it's totally a dream for option sellers. If you go on Reddit, you will see a lot of theta gain, theta farming. These are all strategies that option sellers will use. All right, guys, we have covered quite a lot today on theta. Do you understand what it is and have a better understanding of how you can use it to make more money in option trading? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. There are more related topics I plan to do in the future videos. If you have a strong preference of which one you want to see first, simply let me know in the comment down below. Well, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you have learned what you wanted, well, congratulations and hope I earned a big like from you for this video. If you like free money and don't mind just two minutes of work, you can use my referral codes for one free stock from Robinhood, two free stocks from Webull, $10 worth of Bitcoin from BlockFi, and lastly, 
five dollars free cash from the cash app if you sign up for that in addition i will give you two dollars worth of apple stocks great deal dividend paying stocks you can find all the referral codes links and instructions in the description down below if you want to see more finance by design videos like this consider smash the subscribe button as well doing so will tremendously help the channel and motivate me to produce more high quality content down the road have fun following your passion and keep using design to square up your finances we'll see you on the next video Tschüss!